for uh, a subject. So here we have the definition of electric circuits. It's just an interconnection of electrical elements. And its function is to transfer energy from one point to another. Okay, so these are the basic concepts. You have charge, current, voltage, power, circuit elements, and energy that we're going to discuss today. Before going there, so, okay, so, ito muna tayo. Okay, so, when you say electric circuit is an interconnection of electrical elements, no? so if you can imagine um, a, a flashlight, okay? So, I guess everyone is familiar with a flashlight. Yung nakakita na kayo ng flashlight. So, ano yung mga uh, elements ng flashlight? Ano meron ng flashlight? Anybody? Wala. Anyways, of course, you have a battery. Okay? So, meron kang battery. And this battery is connected to your Lamp. Okay, so going back to this definition of your of um, electric circuits, it is an interconnection of electrical elements. So notice here that we have this element, uh, this element here, or then um, Okay, so this is one element, okay, and this is another element, and this is another element. So these are all interconnected together. You know? So the battery is connected to the lamp so via this wire, and maybe this is a wire, okay? So this is also a wire, okay? So they are interconnected together, and its function is transfer energy from one point to another. So the energy that is stored you know, in this battery is used in order to make this uh, lamp glow bright. Okay? So, anong gagawin? So, this um, provides the voltage and then using the current here, it transfers energy papunta doon sa iyong lamp. So, basically, you know, these are the uh, three main elements you know, of your um, electric circuit, the power source, the uh, utilization, okay, utilization equipment, and then your conductors. So these wires are your conductors. Right, so those are the basic elements. Without any of these elements here, you'll not be able to transfer energy from one point to another. Okay, so without the battery, there's, there's no energy that can be transferred. Without the lamp, you cannot use that energy that is stored in your battery. And without this conductor here, you cannot transfer the energy that is found in the battery and be used by the lamp. Okay, so naintindihan, yan yung definition ng isang electric circuit. Now we go to the basic concepts. Now the first concept is charge. Okay, so this concept was already introduced to you in physics. So this is the basic quantity in electric circuit. It is defined as an electrical property of materials. It exists as a negative and positive charge. No? So a negative charge is your electron, or your positive charge is your proton. Okay? So it is measured in columns, and we say that one electron is equal to negative 1.602 times 10 to negative 90 columns. Okay? And likewise, of course, the, post, the, the proton, and the charge of proton. Okay? It's just equal to the electron, but positive in value. So the positive and negative charges move in different directions. So uh, basically, no, ito yung unang uh, what do you call this? Conventional 
definition of the movement of charge. No, uh, but we know now, no, especially if you go if you go to study your electronic circuit that for or or even in 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 chemistry that only negative charges or only the electron moves okay and not all electrons right there is only the outermost electrons that moves okay it is only the valence electrons that move the other electrons that are found inside the shell, you cannot move. Okay, so the movement of these valence electrons are what we call the electric current. Okay? So, uh, ito, ito yung conventional definition ng ating electric current. No? So considering an electric current as movement of positive charge, no, parang conventional way lang siya. But in reality, it is the electron which is moving. It is the valence electrons that is uh, moving. So a charge may be constant or varying. Okay. So bakit yung sinabi, no? So uh, say for example in a battery, uh, constant yung kanyang voltage, so constant lang din yung amount ng Ng, ng current na pwede niyang ibigay. But for different uh, sources so such as uh, generators, no? mga alternating currents, uh, so this is actually DC current, and this is AC. So varying ang kanyang binibigay na current. So varying din yung dumadaan or yung nagbumove ng mga amount of charge no, inside the, uh, the conductor. Okay, so ayan siya. So, next definition is current. No? So, defined as the charge flow rate. Now, how many charges are moving per unit time? Now, it is measured in terms of ampere, in honor of Andre Marie Ampere. And likewise, because it is dependent on the charge, it is also either constant or varying. So, kung varying yung, yung charges natin, since your current is dependent on the number of charges flowing per unit time, then therefore, the current is also either constant or varying. How about the voltage? Okay. It is defined as the charge rate of doing work. Okay. Or the energy required to move a unit charge to an element. Right? So think of this uh, like a uh, water tank. Okay? So the to be a Okay? So the, 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 the higher the elevation of the water here, you know, the stronger is the flow you know, of your water na pwedeng lumabas dito. Pero as the water elevation goes down, okay, nagiging mababa din yung discharge ng tubig dito. Okay? So ganun din yung voltage natin. Okay? So it is, uh, uh, the, the higher the voltage, the, the higher also the current that it can uh, provide. No? In the push niya, no? Uh, energy required to move a unit charge to an element. So, meron siyang, meron kang charge dito, and then ipupush na yung charge na ito. Okay? So, if this, if the energy here no, is, is stronger, then of course, mas mabilis mag-move ang charge na ito. Okay? So, that is our voltage. Now, take note, in an electric circuit, it's not the voltage no, which is uh, moving. So it is the current that volts because it is dependent on charges, uh, constant or varying. Okay? The next concept is power. It's defined to be the time rate of doing work and it is measured in 
what so ito yung uh, uh, kailangan maintindihan no, for for power in electric circuit that power can be absorbed or supplied by circuit elements no so earlier that we, we introduced yung mga circuit elements we have your source your battery source of power a source of energy and then you have your uh conductors and then you have your lamp okay so uh it is the the battery which supplies power so while your your lamp each one it is the one which uses that power okay so naging positive daw ang power if the elements absorb the power and negative ang power when element supplies power so nagiging take note no may positivity at negativity dito no bakit so because when we're talking about this uh we go back to the definition of vectors no so merong direction no? it is not just uh it is not just um what do you call this um uh, um, a motion, a movement, no? meron siyang direction. Okay, so, uh, positive power, element of source power, so, ibig sabihin, yung doon sa lamp kanina that was um, shown earlier, uh, this element absorbs power. So, while your, the battery supplies power. So, take note, uh, kung ano lang yung i-absorb the power ng iyong ng iyong, what do you call this, ng iyong uh, lamp, um, ideally, no, ideally, yun lang din yung dapat supply na power ng iyong uh, battery. No, para, no, you go back to the definition that um, energy is neither created or destroyed, it just changes from one form to another. And conservation of energy, kung, ilang, kung how much energy is uh, papasok to the system, yun lang din yung pwede yung gagamitin ng system. So, however, in an electric circuit, uh, may natong elements. No? It's not only the source of power and the one which utilizes the power, but we also have the conductor no, which is used to transport the power from, from the source papunta doon sa uh, lamp niyo or from the battery papunta niyo sa lamp. And in the process no, of uh, transporting that power uh, from the battery to the lamp, nagkakaroon ng losses doon sa conductor mo. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, ang total power ang na nasusupply ng iyong uh, battery is equal to the power that is lost in the conductor and the power that is used by your um lap. Okay? So para equal, no? Para para zero yung 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 power doon sa loob. Okay? So dito daw sign is determined by voltage and current. So later, kaya nakita niyo kanina, no pag nagbigay ka ng source, so usually the source is in our case is symbolized by a circle, no with Okay. Uh, okay, so it's dependent on the polarity of your voltage. The um provided by this voltage source is dependent. So, in an ideal circuit, the power supplied is just equal to the power source. So, the supply dito, ito yung power sa yung battery or any other sources. Any power na absorbed, ito yung sa lamp mo and yung doon sa conductor. Okay? Siya. Energy is defined as the capacity to do work. It is measured in joules. It is measured in joules. Okay? So, yan, yan na yung binigay niya na uh, definition ng energy. Okay? But uh, we go back again no, to the mantra of engineers that energy is neither created nor destroyed. It just changes from one 
one one uh, forms another. So kanina sa ating circuit element. Uh, we have total energy coming and then and pupunta siya doon sa lamp no, from electrical energy it is then converted to light um, um, energy doon. 